So that is Knox's emergence. And now let me just talk again about the European uh, uh, theme of this. And what you have on the left is this mad, radical Knox claret jug. Uh, we're pretty sure it's Knox, although I've got to say the cone on top defies, uh, defies everyone to really identify that, uh, that source. Uh, but everything else is very much Knox. On the right, Peter Behrens was the German modernist designer. I'm not sure he's so well known uh, in Britain, but in Germany, very well known, very famous. This is his attempted copy, 1905. That's quite a compliment. Uh, I think you can see which came first and which is the better piece. If we go also to a journal, and there's, as I said, very little, little written about Knox. He was hidden under the Liberty Cloak and actually also something called the Silver Studios, Design Studios uh, brand as well. But this, this is a very important uh, quote, and you see the curious curves which Liberty and Co. were the first to introduce and which had a ruinous influence on the whole of European applied art make a pleasant enough first impression. Such pieces as the two cups by Archibald Knox for Liberty have many admirers. admirers. What a terrible prospect, though, of having to spend one's life surrounded by these shapes. <laughs> So the society does have issues with this article, but in fact we're incredibly grateful because in practice, Austria was the heart at this time of Art Nouveau, as well as Paris, of course, but you had the secession in, in Hoffman in, in, in Vienna, you had Mackintosh and Ashby, of which many, many books have been written influencing uh, the secession and the Austrian movement, which in turn influenced Germany. So you see this strand and much written about the thread of modernism coming through, and here, amongst it all, we have somebody at the time saying, actually, it was all about liberty. And within liberty, it was all about Knox. Again, emerging from the ghost designer, you see this incredible, that's an incredible level of influence to have, uh, to have brought to bear.